the revolution that started what is now America in 1776 was founded by American nationalists who wanted the ability to engage in politics. So they wrote up the Declaration of Independence and sent it to the British monarchy. This allowed them to be engaged politically when they wrote the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. They had the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and other freedoms that allowed them to go out and talk to the representatives. Uh, this new founded idea was brand new in the, at the time. Um, the, no other nation in the world had had these freedoms. And yet now, according to the Pew Research Center, only 30% of Americans have ever reached out to their elected officials and written to them about issues that they feel important or gone to a public meeting. Only 24% of people have gone to a town hall or school board meeting to demand change. Now, we need more political involvement now more than ever in order to improve our lives. Not only does political involvement make us more happy in the situation that we live in, it also makes our lives happier and healthier and our communities safer. America was founded on the ideas of freedom of speech and we would be doing ourselves a disservice if we don't participate in the political process to take advantage of those rights. And civic engagement is what we do when we participate in the political process, when we, uh, when we speak at public forums or public meetings and demand change, petition to change. They're also when we volunteer, when we go out and uh, vote for our elected officials and other propositions on the ballot and for when we vote for people to go into office or we go through the more difficult process of running for office in order to make our loud, our voices loud and so we can be heard. Another popular form is through protesting or direct action where we demand change. Another step is uh, using our time, money and skills to participate in the politics, to support people running for office uh, to donate money and resources to them so that they can win, depending on whoever our, our whoever we decide to vote for. Uh, through traditional participation and civic volunteerism or volunteering, we become the public voice. Civic involvement has become even easier over the years. We now can like a Facebook post that supports our political views, or share a tweet. Uh, so easy as a click of a button. Even now, we don't have to wait for, new, for the newspaper to listen to the news. And in our current situation, we don't even have to wait for the first no, Tuesday in November to vote. Uh, we can sign petitions from our phone, uh, email our representatives, and share Facebook posts, all from the comfort of our home. I ran and was elected as a student representative on, the, on our community college board, and I am so grateful for the opportunity to uh, participate in those proceedings to help uh, the college make decisions and uh, help people understand what's going on by asking questions. I would recommend anyone to participate in that, in that process. It makes it more interesting as more voices are heard, more opinions are shared. With elections now being done through the mail and petitions being signed online, we can do all of this from the comfort of our home, meeting virtually. Um, President John F. Kennedy shared in his infamous inaugural speech that ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And that is such a, a strong uh, call to everyone to be politically active. And later in that same speech, uh, JFK said, with a good conscious, conscious as our only sure reward, with history the final judge, let us go forth to lead the land we love. And that was his final call in that speech to all of us to be part politically active. And not only does, is a good conscience the, the only sure reward, there are many other known benefits that we can reap as we go through with political engagement not only will, will we have a good conscience, but we will have happier communities, healthier people, 
uh, mentally and our communities will also be safer. We'll be more satisfied with the location where we live. So we all have opportunities to become active in our communities. As we become more engaged, we'll be happier and healthier. And it's being easier and easier as the years go by with internet and computers and all other types of technology that we can be more engaged. We all live in a city or county with elected officials and representatives, and we need to make our voices heard and our presence known. Uh, the U.S. was built on the ideas of freedom of speech and freedom of press and the idea of being engaged, and we need to do it. Let us do it more. Thank you.